So you're looking for the best tactics for FM23? Well, you're in the right place. I go searching for all the best tactics for FM23 so you don't have to. And then I test them with three teams, Main City, West Ham and Bournemouth. I leave the assistant manager in charge. He has to play the tactic and then come back at the end of the season and add up the points and put a little fun tactic test in the table. If that is something you are interested in. Please leave a like and subscribe on this video. And the tactic we are testing out today is 424 ICR2. If you want to download this tactic, the link will be in the description below. If you can't download it for any reason, I do run over the tactic at the end of the video just so you can copy all the instructions down. This one was uploaded to my website. Uh, I did say I was going to do it. I finally got round to it. So thank you for uploading to my website. Uh, if there's any other tactics you want me to test out, please leave it in the comments below. It's a 424 and who doesn't love a good 424? They're so OP. On your screen now is May City's best 11 without restrictions. So now let's check out how it gets on. Well, it's a great start in the Community Shield, beating Liverpool 6-3. Then it's Liverpool again in the third round of the Cabba Cup. And we lost on penalties. We check out the FA Cup. Well, this is a lot better. We got all the way to the final where we face Fulham. Where we comfortably beat them 4-2. We check out the Champions League. We topped a very tough group with Barcelona, Bayer Leverkusen, Marseille. We won five, we lost one, we finished on 15 points. Then in the knockout rounds, we got all the way to the final where we faced Liverpool. Where we beat them 3-0 and they didn't even get a look in. Only having five shots, only one on target. 3-0, nice and comfortable. We check out the Premier League. We are champions. We won 27, we drew six, we lost five. Goals for 110, goals against 32, a goal difference of 78 and a points tally of 87 free away from the 90 mark that we like to get. We check out how the player stats got on. Well, you can see how Haaland's their top goal scorer with 48 goal. Alvarez has got 27. Kevin Bruyne's got 19. Diaz getting 15. Assist-wise, what do you have? Bernardo Silva with 23. Phil Foden with 17. Haaland with 16. Average rating-wise, Haaland is the best performer in the league with a 7.81. And clean sheets, we've got 28 clean sheets in all competition. We check out their team overall view. We got a 2.29 and most goals, we got 110. Most shots for, we're top here with 966. Fewer shots against, we're top here as well, 324. Best pass completion, most possession, no. Most tackles, one. Most dribble were made, yes. Fair place here, 761. Most clean sheets, fair place, 17, which is very good. Fewest conceded, we're doing best in the league. First place with 32, only conceded 32, which is very good. Uh, not a bad start. Like I said, 87 points is a little low. We'd like to get a little bit more. But now let's check out a West Ham. At the start of the season, this is their best 11 without restrictions. Now let's check out their results. Carabao Cup, it's an early exit in the third round, losing to May United 1-0. FA Cup's a bit better. We got to the quarterfinal, but we lost against Arsenal 1-0. We'll check out the Conference League. We topped our group. We won six, didn't lose game, didn't draw a game. Finished on 18 points. Then in the knockout rounds, we only got to the final where we faced Fiorentina. And we beat them 3-2, even with a man less, Kurt Zuma getting sent off. We check out the Premier League. Well, Champions League football next season. We won 24, drew 5, lost 9, goals for 94, goals against 53, a goal difference of 41, and a really good point today of 77. I feel this tactic's actually done better with West Ham than Main City. 77 points with West Ham's very good. We check out their player stats. Skamaka's their top goal scorer with 36 goals. Kurt Zuma, 29. Corner routine, Jar Bowen with 20, Siswise, Creswell with 20, Bowen with 19, a good season. Average rating wise, their best performer is Skamaka with a 7.49 and clean sheets defensively. 23 clean sheets is very good. We check out the team overall view. On most points per game, we've got a 2.03. Most goals, second place here, 94 goals. Most shots for third place, 713. Fewer shots against, seventh place here, 469. Best pass completion, most possession. Most tackles won, yes. Fair place, 841. Most dribbles made, no. Most clean sheets, no. Fewers conceded, it's a double no. Uh, fourth place, like I said, with West Ham, that 77 points is very good. Now, let's test it with Bournemouth. And at the start of the season, this is their best 11 without restrictions. Now, let's check out how it gets on. In the Carabao Cup, they got to the quarterfinal, but they got absolutely thrashed by Chelsea 6-2. We check out the FA Cup. But they struggled to get past Rotherham in the third round. They played Wolves in the fourth round and lost 2-1. We check out the Premier League. With Bournemouth, we are in 14th place, which is not bad at all. Their season preview, they finished 20th. 
but I was hoping for a lot better. West Ham got my hopes up. They won 13, drew 6, lost 19, goals for 60, goals against 70, minus 10 goal difference and a points tally of 45. We check out the player stats. Goals wise, their top goal scorer is Dominic Solenke. It's, it's the same old name. 16 goals, 9, 7, 5. Uh, assist wise, what do we have? Christie with 9 assists. We've got no one in green. Uh, Billing is their best performer with a 6.96. And clean sheets wise, we only have 9. We check out the team overview. Most points per game were not on this part, but most goals were here in 8th place with 60 goals. So we're get, scoring enough goals. Most shots for, we're getting enough shots off as well, 565. Fewer shots against, maybe defensively, just not great. Uh, best passing, most possession, most tackles won as well. We're not getting the tackles in. Most dribbles made, no. Most clean sheets, fewest conceded. It's a no all round. 14th place with Bournemouth actually is not bad. Uh, is not bad at all. I've seen a lot worse. Right, now let me add the points and put a little fun tat -tat -tat league table, which is on its way next. 424 ICR2 doesn't make it on top 20. It done very well though. It won 64, drew 17, lost 33, goals for 264, goals against 155, goal numbers of 109. It won five trophies and finished on a point instead of 209, I think, personally for me. Anything over 190 is a very good points tally and 209 is a very good points tally indeed thank you so much for watching if you need the instructions carry on watching in goal we got a sweeper keep on defend there will be some add-on instructions pause it when need be on the left hand side we got a wing back on support on our right hand side we got a wing back on support we've got a ball playing defender on defend alongside another ball playing defender on defend in front of them we've got a segunda volante on support alongside another segunda volante on support on the left hand side we've got inside forward attack, on the right hand side an inside forward attack, up front advanced forward attack alongside another advanced forward attack. Title style basically is a custom one, copy everything here. And mentality balanced, in possession what do we have? Attack and whip standard, approach play pass in the space, focus down the left, focus down the right, overlap on the right, overlap on the left, pass and direct is shorter, tempo higher, time wasting never, Low crosses, run at defence. In transition, what do we have? We've got a counter press, counter, just be quickly, roll it out. Out of possession, what do we have? High press line of engagement, standard defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goal kick distribution, get stuck in, and that is your lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do really appreciate it. And if you can leave a like on this video, that would be amazing. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel. Don't miss out on any other tactic tests or any other DNA, FM DNA tactics. One coming soon. Uh, thank you again for watching. I do really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. I will see you then.